Hi, hello, and howdy. It's me, Mushy, and you're, well, you're you. Hello, you. And we're here at Dark and Creepy Diamond Painting for a kit up, a very special kit up. Today, we're going to kit up Dark and Creepy Diamond Paintings, Diamond Paint with Friends event submission, canvas number one, for Eileen's April Wings and Things event. Yay! Ooh, happy hands I'm excited but before we get into it I thought I'd go over some details and tell you what I've already done and bring you along for the rest of the process so let's get into it okay so um I guess well what do I want to do I guess first I will reveal the canvas so you can see what we're talking about Ba bang here it is this is my submission for Eileen's Wings and Things. It is um, C28 in my inventory, meaning cute number 28. And I called it Butt Wipe Dragon. <laughs> and it was number 398 in my personal stash. It is a 35 by 40, 30 color. Um, and you know, I don't remember if I measured this or not. So we're going to like measure it together because I'm curious because it does seem a little bit bigger than a, a normal like 30 by 40. So I'm wondering, do we get, no, it is not. Wow. Okay. So it's uh, just under 30 centimeters, it's about 29 and a half by 40. So we kind of got, um, gypped five centimeters uh, so this is really a drill field 30 by 40 but for some reason it just kind of looked bigger to me but I guess I was just me being dumb um but yes here it is it says your butt napkins my lady and it has wings so um that applies to the wings portion and it is a thing and uh, yeah, so not my normal dark and creepy, I know, but this is how it has some elements of like fantasy in it. It does have my snarky attitude and my sense of humor, potty humor, if you will. And so I thought this might be a nice change of pace and fun, but if we can get this done in a timely manner and there's more time left in the month, I will submit a second canvas for the event uh, that will be more on point with Dark and Creepy. But this falls into to the channel as well, and I thought it'd be a nice break to have a little fun, a little humor, a little sass, and a little fantasy. What do you think? Was this a good choice? All right, well, let's get into the kidding up and some of the details. Let's go. Okay, you guys, so... um. I wanted to read you off the color list, if you don't mind. Would you like to know what colors are in here? I I would. Uh, how about... How about I just let you see it while we look. So while we're looking at this canvas um, and taking it in... By the way, I really hate the legend. <laughs> it's like symbols, letters, all mixed together. Uh, not my favorite sort of legend. Starts with a heart. Number one is a heart. Number two is an M. Number three is a pill. Number four is a club, etc. Uh, then some more letters and whatnot, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, I like the image, so I guess that's what's important. All right, so let's get into the colors. The colors you're, you see here in this canvas are red, very dark, black, antique mauve, medium dark, red, shell gray, medium, blue, green, dark, cranberry, very dark, cranberry, dark, old gold, white, yellow, light, pale, terracotta, very light, garnet, dark, baby, pink, baby, pink, light. I already hear you and I don't want to. Shh. I already hear it. I know I said it. I know there's two p -p 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 inks in here, but I don't want to hear your snark. I'm well aware that the, I have a diamond painting with pinks in it. We're not talking about it. I will I will mute the comments if I see the word pink in there. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, carnation dark. Still don't want to hear it. Um, carnation very light. Plum dark. Dusty rose dark. That's an acceptable pink, in my opinion. Peach light. Antique violet medium. Desert sand. Salmon dark, also a very tasty and acceptable pink. 
black brown, mauve light, antique mauve dark, antique blue very dark, tawny very light, aquamarine, raspberry light, and grape light. There is our color list for this bad boy right here. And now we get down to business. What business could we have here, Mushy? Well, let me tell you what Mushy did first. First of all, I went through, and when I was going through the color list, I went ahead and made my overflow storage. So I, I was missing uh, four colors that I had not yet had discovered in my diamond painting extras repertoire here my little containment of extras I had four colors that I have not yet collected extras from so I went ahead and made those containers and placed them in the appropriate numerical order in the tiered system uh, that takes a little while and it's a lot of noise and and whatever and it's pretty effing boring so I went ahead and spared you from that and did that in advance but I just wanted to let you know that yeah I did pull the stickers uh, pull a blank container, put the sticker on, found where it went in numerical order, and slid it on in there. So we have already done that portion. So it will just make kitting down that much quicker when we're ready. Thank you, Mushy. You're welcome, friends. Thank you for sparing us, Mushy. <laughs> okay, so now what I want to do is get those four... Oh, no, that's not what I want want to do now what I want to do uh, I want to show you so I had sundown take a picture and print off a picture of our canvas a thumbnail if you will because it did not come with an inventory sheet so I had him take a picture and print this off and we're going to make this a sticker to apply to our kit because I like to do it and then I had him take a picture and print the label table situation so that I can label our containers make these stickers and label them and this is the kit we're going to use so let's go ahead and just get started with that shall we okay we're back and through magic of I don't know magic I went ahead and zoomed us in a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm doing so this here is a Zyron sticker maker this is one of the two models that I'm aware of. There could be more, I don't know, but this makes like bigger, thicker ones for bigger little things like this. So what I'm gonna do is probably screw this up. Uh, I'm gonna feed into the little insert situation my, my little thumbnail here, and I'm just gently placing it in there just enough for it to, you know, grab a hold. Then I'm going to Pull it through. Well, that was a fun sound. Not my chair, but also not anything else. And I really don't like these plastic teeth, but there we go. Rip it off. And then it says press and rub. Sounds dirty, I know, but we're doing it right here live on camera. Well, not live, live, but you know what I mean. And uh, then. I'm going to find the tweezers that I hid from myself, I found them, and we're going to peel off the situation, like so. And we have made a sticker, yay! And I'm gonna get my lid, and I'm gonna peel the actual, now, now a regular printed piece of paper is now a sticker and we are going to stick our sticker onto the lid yay sticker okay um my own like version of a log book i suppose so we have done that and now i'm going to take this printed off legend and i'm gonna cut I'm going to cut it down to size a little bit, cut off the excess paper. And you know what I'm going to do, because um, I know me and I know I'm going to forget stuff and things, is I'm going to write down on this piece of paper, um, so R. 600 we need to get in our um dot book is what i call it a dot book uh 
I don't know, Saturn, I don't know, a, a no circle, a circle with a slash through it um, is 894. We need to get an exemplar of that. And I don't know, this, <laughs> I think it's supposed to be like a sun, but I just kind of made it something. Use your imagination here, folks, and just know that I have a, a potty mind, a dirty mind. <laughs> and so um, make of this what you will, and I'll make of it what I will. 967. And then, <laughs> uh, oh, hashtag, I can't dirtify that. Well, that's that's a shame. Uh, 3833 is another dot missing from our dot book, but we'll get to that in a bit. Um, now I'm going to cut off the irrelevant information that I do not need personally. Uh, some of you might use it, and that's dandy, but not me. I do not. Now, admittedly, this is a little big. This is the first time we've tried, um, you know, messing around with best ways to print the table. So these, the, this legend is going to be a little big. The stickers are going to be a little big, but that's all right. My man did it for me, and I appreciate it. He did a good job. So um, now we get to look at the other Xyron model. This is a Xyron sticker maker smaller model. As you can see, the, the sticker thing is not as big. You know what I'm saying? This is like for bigger stickers. This is for more narrow stickers. So, uh, and of course, it's after midnight and everybody is in bed. And I'm throwing things around like the world's biggest jerk, but um, as long as it doesn't wake anybody up, I guess we're okay, right? So I'm just going to gently set this in here. This is always a bit problematic for me. Um, I have not mastered this sticker maker because like a lot of times it wants to go sideways and askew and um, halfway through. Yeah, see already, uh, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I think the trick is just to pull this straight to like keep this part straight as you pull through. If you pull a little too far to the left or the right, it will kind of skew the end result, if that makes sense. Like I said, it's after midnight and I've had a really long rough day. So um, if, if you can't figure out what I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, if you can, then you've had a long rough day too and you're in the same uh, non-functioning brain space as me. And welcome, I've saved you a seat. All right, so we're going to rub. And I'm not, well, I guess we can peel. I was going to say I'm not ready to sticker stuff yet, but we can peel this off right here. If I could stop my hands from shaking long enough to peel it, get a hold of it, come off. Whoom. All right, so we got, oh my gosh sticky paper. All right. So these are ready for us to cut and peel when the time comes, but we're not there a hundred percent just yet. Okay. So what, uh, what step number one for me is going to be is to get these containers washed up. But what I need to do is find out what size containers I need because I have multiple sizes here. Um, I have the benefit of multiple sizes with this system. So, oh, here comes the crinkle. Sorry. Um, but yeah, there's some more crinkle to come. I'm so very sorry. That was thoughtless of me. For those of you who do not like crinkle, I'm sorry. Uh, here are our R, R, R. I always say like doo doo and R, our trays, but I don't enunciate it well, so it sounds like I say R, 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 R. <laughs> Here, ow. Oh my gosh. Here are our trains. Yay. <laughs> Good English, Mushy. There's only like a handful of these. This might be a little confetti heavy if you look at the number of drills in each little packet here. Um,. What I'm doing here is I'm just kind of looking, I'm opening this up, I'm looking and evaluating how many of every color, what size containers are we gonna need? Like this one might be a little too much for one of these smaller ones, possibly. Maybe not, maybe not. I guess we'll see um, as we go along. 
Yeah. All right. Let's protect our containers first. Let's just, uh, I guess we'll protect as we go because I don't have the patience right now to really kind of sort the train. Yes, I do. Oh my gosh. Oy. So uh, this comes in like one massive AF long train. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut the baggies. That's going to be an extra small container, judging from the amount of drills. So is that. Are these, yeah, this both the same number. So these two is going to belong in like a bigger one. I can feel how heavy this one is. So I'm going to assume that's going to be a slightly bigger one as well as will this one. I'm thinking probably this size. Maybe the greens might need one of these. Um, small. 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 Uh, uh, that one's questionable. We might go medium on that. We'll see. Small. Oh, I can already feel this kind of terracotta one. That one's a fat one. That'll be a bigger one. This will be a small. And that's a pretty peach color. Fun fact, one of my favorite fruits is peach, which is the my, my all-time favorite fruit is a cherry. Uh, I, I like both um, red and dark. I like the, the, the bright and the dark. That, oh, that's questionable. I think we can fit that in a small. Cut these apart. I'm trying to speed along here, folks. Like I said, it's after midnight. I've got some stuff to do in the morning. A broken kind of beautiful. I'm looking at you. You're going to drag me out of bed in the morning and make me drive all the way to town for some de stash shipping. The shame and horror. <laughs> But on the plus side, I'll be rewarding myself with McDonald's bacon, egg, and cheese bagel. They brought their bagel sandwiches back. Hopefully they have for everyone everywhere. But um, I definitely know it's for me here. And mm -mm, that's like a, that's a, that's a bad, for me, that's bad. That's real bad. I'm going to be finding like all the excuses to go to town. <laughs> So, I'm teasing you a broken kind of beautiful about the D-Stash shipment. Um, actually, it is a wonderful thing. It will get me out of bed and into town before the end of breakfast to partake in a much beloved by me breakfast sandwich at McDonald's that I have missed for years. I have been waiting and waiting for them to bring it back. And uh, it's finally here. We called the local McDonald's and confirmed. But they're only doing it for breakfast. I was so disappointed because I was like, I will drop everything. I don't care if it's midnight. We'll drop everything and drive 30 minutes into town to go get it. But no. They said no. Only breakfast. Bleh. And I think maybe the worst part is that they have had this these breakfast sandwiches since Monday and... Pfft, Mushy didn't, didn't know. How did I not know? I guess I just kind of gave, oops, I sort of cut that one wonky. I guess I sort of just gave up. <laughs> you know, I kind of was like, mm, they're never coming back. So I give up. I'm not going to wait and look anymore and, and pray for them to come back. And you know what? They came back, you know, stopped looking and they dropped in my lap and I dropped the ball and missed it. So I've missed out on, what is today, Wednesday? I've missed out on three whole days of Beck Bees. Are you, I am so bummed. <laughs> so bummed. But it is what it is. I will make up for it. I'll get three. Well, four, because tomorrow will be the fourth day. I'll get four tomorrow and nobody will stop me. Um, except for my stomach. But that's okay. Yeah, these are a little big. Hopefully I don't mess that up. I'm sure it'll be fine right? Yeah, it'll be fine. Oh, hey, you know what I'm not doing? Same thing I fail to do every other time. 
which has actually put the drills in the container. Is anybody surprised? You shouldn't be. If you've seen any of my other kit ups, I'm uh, pretty good at forgetting to put in the put actually put the drills in the containers once I've made the once I've made the containers. So <laughs> yay! <laughs> Glad to see like I'm staying on brand with the, with my flub ups. Mm -hmm. Guess I'm. I'm learning a whole bunch of nothing. <laughs> I'm certainly not learning to fill my containers as I create them. Isn't that great? All right, so um, number two is is the next, uh, and it's a it's a mama jam. I hear it's not going to fit in one of our smalls. Um, I'm pretty confident it will fit in a medium. Let's pick one from here. So we'll go with that. All right, so we've got our container. Let's protect it with washi. Protect it from the gunk. And um, cut our cut our sticker. All right. And, oh gosh, make all the noise and wake up all the little baby chicks and the baby pups and the baby adult child. <laughs> Let's just wake everybody. The sundown, the baby sundown. Let's just wake everybody up, right? Am I even? I'm probably like not even in frame. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, guys. Uh, I will, I will do more better. All right, cut and open the bag. Is anybody else going to go partake in um, McDonald's bagel breakfast sandwiches? Is anybody else as freaking excited as me? I know it's a silly thing to be excited about. It's a big old breakfast sandwich. Mushy, calm down. But no, I will not. I don't know what kind of magic I'm going to guess, you know, like sodium <laughs> and fat <laughs> that they put in there. Ooh. Oh, that's the sparkles on my tray. I was like, ooh, these drills are dirty. But no, that <laughs> was just my eyes playing tricks on me. Good call on this container, Mushy. Good job. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited about the Beck Bees coming back. Uh, I don't really care for the other bagel sandwiches. I just really like the bacon, egg, and cheese one. Uh, what's your favorite? Do you do you partake in the McDonald's breakfast bagel sandwiches? And if so, which one are you excited is back? Like, which one do you prefer? I thought Sundown mentioned preferring the steak one, uh, which you know makes sense to me, knowing him. Uh, not not a big. What was the other one? Wasn't there another one, a third one? I don't remember what that one was, but um, maybe a sausage one or something. But no, the the key to my heart was the bacon, egg, and cheese one. And I can't wait. Can't wait. I wonder what time breakfast starts at McDonald's here. <laughs> maybe I'll just uh, take long enough to wear... By the time I'm done kidding up, at this rate, it could be a real possibility. By the time I'm done kidding up, it'll be breakfast time at McDonald's and I have an excuse to go get it. <laughs> oh, mushy, mushy, mushy. All right, so what was number four? Can I get an idea of what color number four is? Some kind of reddish brown. Did I? Oh, number four is right here. Okay, here we go. Can I squeeze this in? Oh, I could, so I will. I am. I do. Um, have you guys kitted up? Well, first of all, I guess the first question would be, um, how many of you are participating in Eileen's Paint with Friends event? Go over and check out Diamond. Oh, gosh. Uh, no, it is. Yeah. Gosh darn it. I'm sorry, Eileen. Um, crafts by Eileen. Diamond Crafts? Diamond Crafts by Eileen? Is that like the formal name of the channel? Uh, go check out Diamond Crafts by Eileen. You can uh, reach her that here on YouTube that way, or you can find her on our Facebook group, Dark and Creepy Diamond Painting. She is uh, a Facebook group member. You can find her on her own Facebook. There's a Diamond Paint with Friends Facebook. I mean, 
you you can kind of get to a lot of us creators in multiple ways but um yeah definitely i would say go check out her channel first and foremost but um you know can also kind of go uh creep about facebook and and probably reach her that way as well uh, and get more details about the event if you need it but it is wings and things and we are in fact doing a thing with a wing so how about that um that's where you can find the most accurate details about the event i am participating but eileen is the host and she makes the rules she makes the law the law of the of the event and uh you know just always double check what you hear on the interwebs uh do not take my word for you know am i confident that the event's called wings and things absolutely i am but um you know always double check anything you hear on the internet you can't always you know i could be i could be fibbing to you right now it could be like flowers and petals and i just told you it was wings and things you'll never know unless you go check out her channel and find out for yourself so there's that um <laughs> and sometimes i'm honry i could do that to you i could be like oh yeah you know the event starts oh it's flowers and petals but really it was wings and things ha 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 no i wouldn't do that would i would i i might it's not april fool's day yet so i guess i can't but um oh but you know what <laughs> it's kind of funny because by the time you see this it might be no i'm pretty sure i'll get this video out to you guys before then <sighs> that was a lot wasn't it <laughs> it was you're welcome all right so six is oh so we oops and by we i mean me 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 kitted up a do I need one this big or do you think it'll fit? I'm not going to take a chance. Not going to take a chance. I'm going to, I'd rather have too big of a container than spend the time getting, um, you know, a container prepped and stuff and then have it be too small and have to like do just that little bit of extra work. Um, no thanks. I'm on the lazy train here, so I'd rather waste container space then um waste time yeah so that's kind of how that's going um but yeah back to you know the real what i was asking was um was that a drill i think i just like accidentally tried to cut a drill who's participating tell me in the comments below say me 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 i am uh who's looking forward to this event wings and things and what kind of winged thing are you bringing to the event are you going um pretty are you going creepy are you going um you know are you thinking outside the box and and doing the, the fried chicken idea <laughs> i am maybe i was hearing things and i was talking about this in my kit down and post review but i don't think i did i don't think i was hearing things i'm pretty sure I, i'm pretty sure eileen even said said that even fried chicken would be an acceptable <laughs> entry cover. oh my gosh here we go again it just it tickles me um to think of a, a fried chicken diamond painting <laughs> i man i would i dare somebody go and go order a custom diamond painting for this event and have it be like a bucket of kfc <laughs> i was so tempted <laughs> if uh if i had heard her say that like a month ago <laughs> And I had had more time to like do that. I 100% would have done that. I'm so sad. I'm so sad that like uh, I, I had already picked out my canvas. And then I watched her newest um, video where she, you know, briefly talks about, you know, an updated most current recent information for the event. And uh, and and I'm, I'm pretty confident she was talking about like, well, what kind of canvases can you know are can you enter with like are eligible and basically it was anything with wings or you know anything having to do with flight uh you know or things that once could fly 
Like she, and I'm pretty sure she, she said even fried, you know, fried chicken would be eligible. <laughs> oh, sorry. I keep losing it here. And my first thought was, gosh darn it, Eileen, I, <laughs> why you didn't mention that, like, <laughs> prior to today, because I would have been, I would have been that one, I would have been that one that would have custom ordered a KFC bucket of fried chicken for this. <laughs> oh, good golly. <laughs> Oh, man. Ugh, sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm slap happy uh, tonight. Uh, if you can tell. <laughs> I think I've been up for like, I don't know, 500 years now. And I'm so very tired. And uh, quite honestly, not to be a Debbie Downer, but I'm in a lot of pain also. Um, did have a super special doctor's appointment and some x-rays and such. I have scar tissue from an un undetermined injury to my hips. So both of my hips have scar tissue inside the joint where like your, the ball end of your femur like fits into the socket of your pelvis of your, of your hips, your hip bones. So like my actual hip joints. Um, inside that, you know, between the ball of your femur and in that, you know, hip cave, if you will, um, there's scar tissue in both of my hips that did not heal. So apparently I had some injury, uh, in my youth that resulted in scar tissue forming in, inside the socket or the joint. And it didn't like, I don't know if it didn't heal properly or, uh, the way my body heals itself, um, instead of scar tissue, it created scar calcium deposit and, um, basically coated the balls of the balls, <laughs> the balls of my femurs, the, the, you know, the ball end of my femur that goes into my hip joint it coated th that part of the bone in calcium instead of like tissue, scar tissue. And then it formed in a serrated sort of pattern. So the more I walk around, it's like a serrated knife cutting into the ligaments in the joint and into the like soft tissue and I don't know, whatever lives in a joint, soft ligaments, soft tissue, gunk, bone. Um, it basically like saws through all of it and creates pain and um, difficult mobility at times, swelling, um, did I say pain? Cause pain um, and also the fluid can build up to the point where it's visibly like you can visibly see swelling on my hips and um it makes it difficult to walk it's very painful and then it also starts like trying to push my femur bone out of the out of the joint like out of the socket uh creates that pressure there if you will i know right did you just like clench your teeth because I did Ugh, ah. <laughs> um, but yeah uh, very painful very painful sometimes and it it gets agitated sometimes with weather sometimes it gets agitated from walking too much and um, the bane of a diamond painter's existence I guess uh, it gets irritated by sitting around in too much also um, so yeah the doctor is investigating, exploring, um, hurting me <laughs> today. So, uh, I did have to, oh, I have a container ready. I did have to endure that. And, um, one of the tests that, you know, they were testing my mobility and, and stuff like that. And one of the things that he made me do 
was a squat, but in the middle of the room. So not up against a wall, like with anything, you know, and not near anything that I could grab or use to help me up or down. So I had to stand in the middle of a wall or a wall in the middle of a room and put my hands out in front of me like that and perform a squat where I squatted straight down and then, you know, stand back up from a squatting position without, you know, putting my hand on my thigh to help like stabilize myself or anything. Like my hands had to be straight up. My arms had to be straight up. That did not go well. <laughs> um, I performed the action of, of physically squatting down uh, and I did so relatively quickly because I mean hi gravity how are you um, but on my way down a whole bunch of snap crackles and pops and then shooting effing pain from the hot place uh, he double hockey sticks smacked me in my my entire fiber of my being um I am a little concerned because now I have swelling in in both of my hips but it's worse in my left hip is I don't know I, I, we're reaching the excruciating level and I have a relatively high pain threshold um believe it or not, as big chicken baby as I am for procedures and stuff, my actual pain tolerance is pretty high. So for me to sit here and say I am nearing the excruciating point, I can tell you, you'll just have to take my word for it. It's pretty effing bad. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I'm dealing with that. It hurts. It feels like I'm sitting on a cockaber, the my my whole hip joint but like the back of my hip it's weird the whole it, it's just weird how it all it just yeah but everything snap crackled and popped uh my knees my ankles my hips uh were the loudest and most painful offenders of the process um and of course on my you know i got down but then i kept going and pretty much darn near face planted uh, on the floor caught myself with my hands which I wasn't supposed to do but you know I wasn't going to eat the floor you know what I'm saying like you know, of course you're going to reach out and catch yourself um but yeah it was that it was that bad and then and then he was like okay well I need you to get back up I'm like did you not just hear like every bone in the lower half of my body you know freaking snap crackle and pop and, uh, I mean, the pain was so intense, um, that I involuntarily started flooding my face with tears. <laughs> I wasn't bawling like a baby, but, uh, the tears, the water, my eyes were watering so bad from the pain that, um, and the shock of it all happening at once that, you know, it looked like I was crying and, um, I look up at him He's standing over me like, okay, go ahead and get back up. And I was, uh, without, you know, put your hands in front of you, you know, like that and get back up. And I <laughs> looked up at him and, um, he was like, oh gosh, are you hurt? No, no. I mean, all that snap crackling and popping and the tears running down my face, whatever would give you the idea that I am in pain <laughs> and the fact that I'm here to be, you know, seen and evaluated and whatnot, uh, f for this extremely painful condition, why would you think that what you just made me do and the sounds that my body produced caused me pain? <laughs> uh, cr silly me, like, <laughs> silly me for hurting. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess it, it was bad enough that he actually helped me up. He had to help me up. Um, cause I was like, well, you know, I can eventually, hopefully get up from this position, sir, or you can, I don't know, help me because, um, you know, th this train ain't, this train ain't capable of moving, uh, anymore. And I, <laughs> got up and I looked at him and I said, I think we hurt me, sir. I think, I think we hurt me. And he was like, you know, 
so you're saying that you're injured. And I was like, you were there. <laughs> you're the doctor. I mean, maybe you tell me, but I'm pretty sure <laughs> that your bones aren't supposed to crack quite like that. Um, yeah, it, I, I, I may, I may need to go to Dr. B, like a, a secondary <laughs> different doctor now because Dr. A, uh, effing hurt me. Yeah. Caused me some injury folks. It, it hurts. Um, so that's been fun to, to deal with. Loving that. Let's see. 15 is G. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's kind of how I spent the first half of my day. Um, how, you know, the, finally the appointment ended and I hobbled myself out to the car. Uh, and by the time I got out to the car, then, then I cried like a baby. <laughs> I wasn't about to do it like in total public though. I was parked in front of the building that is full of windows and, um, I was facing the window. So I'm sure that, you know, um, uh, but I couldn't, I couldn't, I held it until I got to the car folks. And then I just kind of, wah. <laughs> um, but luckily I was still safe to drive because the predominantly injured, uh, hip was the left one, which you don't really use in driving. So, uh, I was able to, thankfully I have heated seats. So I was able to roast my rump um and the related hip area uh on the way home that helped kind of ease some of it until i turned the car off and <laughs> got out in the cold <laughs> and then it oops i have the dropsies then it was um back to painville but uh you know oh i forgot to clean this one off oh well we're just gonna pretend that we don't notice that and we're gonna tape right over it That'll be fine. <laughs> uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys had a better day than that. Hopefully nobody tortured you today. I probably shouldn't say that. Hopefully nobody, you know, put you through some, some stuff like that today. Uh, I hope that, you know, you had a much better day. Um, yeah, you go to the doctor like doctor help me and then they're like <laughs> feel the wrath of pain <laughs> good golly um i could not be a doctor i could not uh no couldn't do that to people that's just i mean he was just doing his job he didn't do it on purpose it needed to be done and they needed to see what the what of the what was but um I was like, you just took an x-ray. I just literally looked at my whole pelvic region on your screen there as I walked by. Could you not look at that? Like, did we really need to put me through the physical stuff? Could you not like, I don't know, look at the x-ray and determine how bad it is without making me like prove it? <laughs> and do we, was this really quite necessary, sir? but I guess so. I'm not a doctor, so not a, at least not a medical doctor. So I, I guess so. Uh, who am I to question the authority of the MD, right? Um, what else happened? Uh, I then, it was in a part of town that I don't know that I've really frequented more than maybe once or twice in the entire, um, almost year that I've been here. So I was a little lost and I was in so much pain that I didn't even hear my GPS tell me, turn, turn, you dumb idiot, turn. <laughs> and I just kept on cruising by. So got a little lost, but it's okay because then I ended up in the Wendy's parking lot <laughs> and uh, much to, much to Leah's chagrin, uh, I I ended up in a Wendy's parking lot and when she was stalking me on the Life360 app, she was like texting, talking about Wendy's. Why are we at Wendy's? And I'm like, I'm turning around and she's like, how about you turn around into that drive-thru? I'll send you money. I need a, a big, fat, juicy burger, please. And, and some fries. If, uh, okay. Um, 
I was like, well, your fee for that service, ma'am, will be a baked potato on you. And so she was like, sure, no problem. So uh, I got a baked potato out of the deal. Yay. <laughs> and, and our secret, also a small French fry. <laughs> um, I was approved for her to purchase me a baked potato for my troubles, um, which was really just an accidental missing of my turn. Um, so it kind of worked out for me. I didn't have to go, I didn't, well, I didn't go any further out of my way or anything. It was, it was an accident, but um, I didn't have to like intentionally go out of my way. And I got a baked potato and I snuck a free french fry off of her. <laughs> <laughs> That'll teach you to, to keep me from coming home right away, child. Ask me to stop and all I wanted to do was come home <laughs> and cry and take a nap. And um, But yeah, no, I, got, I got a baked potato out of the deal. So. But I, and then I made it home and I sat down and I put like, I don't know, a half of a drill on the diamond paint on my canvas. I was determined to finish put a ring on it today, which I did. Um, that video probably will be out before this one, so you will have seen it. Come on. Why are the drills in every one of these bags, like the last two or three drills, just like cling for dear life to the inside of this bag? Get out of there. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I, I eased my way into my chair and, um, that was 19. Are we on 20? Yeah. And sat down to finish, put a ring on it. And I'm like, I only got this little section to go. I was supposed to finish it last night. I didn't spoiler. Um, well, I guess technically yeah, it was two nights ago because it's like today. Anyway, I'm not getting into the time slip argument, but, um, the, I was supposed to finish it last night and I just couldn't you guys I couldn't I tried and I couldn't um, so I finished it when I or I was gonna finish it when I got home from the doctor and I sat down I placed half of a drill don't ask me how that occurs just trust when I say that I, I placed half of a drill and then I was like no I cannot I, I need to sleep off some of this pain here so uh, then I went and laid down and passed out for a nice little uh, afternoon nap for about two hours. That did seem to help a little bit. Um, the swelling seemed to be better. The pain seemed a little bit better when I woke up, but as I have sat here this evening to finish put a ring on it and <sighs> de-kit and um, you know, kit this up, uh, it, that the, the unpleasantness is returning. So <laughs> little too much sitting. It, it always helps. It's best. And I'm most comfortable laying down when I'm, when my hips, are, because when your hip hurts, like inside the joint like that, um, it like it radiates in every direction, down your leg, up your back, in your, in your privates like it, it it hurts everywhere in the region okay and so sitting on my rumple still skin is unpleasant standing is unpleasant laying down is really the only relief I feel I get does anybody else out there have like hip issues and similar to this like is it the same for you you lay down and you feel better but every other position under the sun is like excruciating and boy, does it make an argument um, for doing nothing but literally laying around all day sound very pleasant. <laughs> it sounds very plausible. Like, hmm, I could go live life or I could just lay down in, in comfort and bliss all day. Uh, it's tempting. It's tempting to want to do that. Um, I'm afraid it'll get to the, yeah, I'm afraid hopefully it won't get to the point where that is a reality you know where i don't have a choice but to lay down until i can move again but 
Yeah, I can already hear the comments now. I know some of you are probably going to be like, sue that guy, medical malpractice, la 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 la. Um, go believe me, in the moment, <laughs> in the moment, the thought was there. But uh, no, it, it was a physical mobility test that needed to be done. So uh, I really don't think I have much of an argument for a cause of action on that. But um, I'm certainly going to make an argument for him to get the bill if I do end up needing to go to a doctor and get some help. Uh, I'm not paying for it. I didn't do it. I didn't, I didn't have a choice and uh, I didn't choose it. So, um, yeah. <laughs> if, I, if he had asked me, if he would given me a choice, do you want to do a squat? I would have been like, nope, I don't. <laughs> All right. Uh, a is 23, which I have like it for a medium container. I think this one should be sufficient. Um, so what else happened? So yeah, then I got up from my nap and I plugged away, finished, put a ring on it. Post review, if not up already, should be up soon. If up already, probably the very last video that went up after, you know, or before this one. So if you're interested, there it is. Um, boy, that was a labor of love. Let me tell ya. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. The, 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 that one was like literally a labor of love. That was, ooh, did I just try to cut another drill? I think I did. That one was, I explained in the video, but it was like childbirth from the joy of finding out you're pregnant all the way to the bitter end of painful contractions and finally the relief that comes once you plop that baby out <laughs> it was, every every stage of the diamond painting to me was very much akin to <laughs> the the progress of pregnancy and childbirth <laughs> good lord uh, it was rough it was a little rough you guys uh, but we made it. We made it through and uh, ended up with a beautiful diamond painting. So uh, there's that. <laughs> but boy, I paid for it. But I earned that one. I earned that diamond painting every 80 hours of it. <laughs> yeah, 80 and a half or something like that. 81 and a half. Mm, 80 hours of my life right there is in that diamond painting. So yeah, you better bet your sweet Batuski, that Bia Bia is going on the wall 100%. I'm just going to get a fancy frame and she's going to go right on the wall or you can see her from three states away because I, I I put my time in on that one. It deserves its spot. Um, and it's a, it's, a, it's a unique piece. So there's that. You don't, you don't see um you know, the ring inspired diamond paintings just here, there, and everywhere. I don't know that I've ever seen another one. I'm sure they're out there, you know, uh, but I haven't seen them. So there's, and I, and I look for horror stuff all the time. I said horror, horror stuff all the time. I know how that closed caption is going to type that word because I didn't enunciate it. So there you go. I enunciated it for your, you know, reading pleasure. Horror. Um, yeah, you guys, we're almost done with this part. Oh, 25. Yay. So what do you guys think about this canvas choice? Um, are you, do you feel, do you feel like my rationale about how it's like a, a fantasy creature? Like a little dragon and it's snarky and sassy you know a little bit potty humor um do you feel like that yeah that fits on the dark and creepy diamond painting channel or you know in the description given for said channel in the on the channel homepage, or do you feel like you know what mushy we feel cheated like yeah you know just a little a little not dark and creepy and, and no, it's not on brand for you. Uh, what do you think? I think it is. And I know me. I know my sense of humor. So if I say it is my sense of humor, believe me. 
Well, hopefully you guys like it as much as I do. I do like to have, I like to have some fun with my darkness sometimes too, you know? And believe me, there will be many, many more dark diamond paintings to come. But once in a while we need to, to take a break from it. Um, number 26, I got perplexed by numbers, sorry. Uh, you know, once in a while it's nice to take a little breather from the normal dark and creepy and uh, do something a little more, you know, dark humor and fun. Um, I can't wait to see everybody else's. I can't wait. I've seen a few. I've seen a few. Um, yeah, I can't wait. I've heard someone's um, doing Rave About Life from Ra Raven Diamond Art. I think a couple people are going to be doing that one. Uh, beautiful color palette. Love that. The, the browns and bronzes and golds and dark browns and stuff. That's beautiful. Um, right up my alley kind of color palette. Um, what else have I seen? Uh, I saw Eileen kit hers up, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. If I remember right, it was a beautiful, something to do with, I think it was butterflies. Um, no offense. I Please don't take any offense. I just have the memory of a gnat, and that was like, I saw that video, I don't know what feels like, 427,000 years ago. It was really this morning, if I'm if I'm not wrong, or maybe it was last night. I don't, I don't remember anymore when it was. <laughs> it all runs together at this point. I saw it recently. Is that good enough? I saw it recently. I just don't remember exactly what ex specifically I saw, um, but it was pretty and colorful. So there's that. Um, so anybody, I did see somebody mention Becky. Uh, Becky. Um, in our Facebook group did mention that she, no, that wasn't for this one, was it? No, that was for, uh, July's event. I think it was, um, I know what she's doing for that one. The shadow, the shadow Disney princesses, one of them, that'll be cool. Um, but yeah, what, I'm trying to think, I knew that was uh, for some reason why I thought shadow princesses belonged in wings and things is beyond me. I don't know. Cause I maybe Tinkerbell. Hey Becky, if you have, um, shadow Tinkerbell and you need a wings and things idea and you want to work on the series, cause you know, you're going to be doing another one of the shadow princesses, um, this summer, mm, you know, there you go. There's a free idea. You could, if you have a uh, shadow tink, she's got wings and she's a thing. Um, it'd be an excuse to do it. Yep. Um, I'm trying to think who else, I don't know that I've, I know there, I know there's a lot of other people. I saw the list and I recognize a lot of names on the list. Um, some subbies on the, on the participant list, but I can't for the life of me recall who's doing what. I can't remember, you know, what's being done at this point. Um, I do remember some like really p pretty butterfly situation, which I believe was Eileen's. Oh, 28W. Did I prepare? I sure did. Look what I did. I boo-booed again, not paying attention. I think that's going to require one of these. That's what I'm thinking. Um, so let's better better too big than too little but yeah tell me in the comments below I'm pretty sure I've said this about 500 times so, but let's make it 501 let me know in the comments below if you're participating and what what you're doing if you want to share otherwise I'll just wait and see your updates as the event goes along that's fine too uh, if you want it to be a surprise a ninja surprise I get it I like to ninja surprise you guys sometimes so um, are we, uh, anybody going to be viewing or able to view the, well, don't, okay, let me, let me just step that back a minute. I told, I did, one of the things I did talk to the doctor about was the uh, eclipse, because where I'm at in Arkansas, we are going to be in the 100% totality viewing uh, 
like just target dead center. I mean, they're shutting stuff down that day. Schools are closing. Stores are closing. Um, everything. And at first I thought like, what is your problem? And it's not like it's going to be a national state of emergency. It's a freaking eclipse. What, why are we shutting everything down? Like the whole town and stuff. Um, for, for an eclipse that like, if you look at it, you'll burn your retinas. So it's not, I remember as a kid, there was when, when an eclipse of this sort would occur, um, or it did occur when I was a kid and I was in school, they had us make a science project out of it, a viewing apparatus to protect our eyes yet still view it. And these this this tells you like the the difference between the current generation and previous generations like mine um our teachers had us make a science experiment out of it had us craft our own eye safety viewing apparatus out of like a shoe box or paper towel roll or whatever um and that's what we worked on for the week leading up to the uh, the eclipse. And then we all, the teachers, brought all the children outside of the doors, you know, out of the building, into the outside, and t encouraged us to use our viewing apparatuses to watch the eclipse. And now, today's, you know, today, uh, in today's age, they are closing the schools down to prevent people from viewing and injuring their eyes while you know everybody's afraid of getting sued or something I don't oops I don't know but but when I was a kid no they were like hey little kids let's go outside and use these things that you crafted with your own hand your own little child hands let's hope that they work <laughs> and go outside and look up at the sun okay okay and yeah we did it so um i just thought that was kind of like interesting and a little amusing that you know they're shutting down the town and when i was a kid boy they were shoving us outside with a cardboard box look up look through your look up at the sun through your box <laughs> hope you made it right kid <laughs> Uh, it's amazing how things change. Do anybody else, uh, is anybody else old enough to remember those days? Um, and think that, like what happened, what happened from when I was a kid and I was creating a viewing thing in science class to go out and watch the, the same sort of eclipse to now where, oh my gosh, close everything down. There's an eclipse. <laughs> Nobody look up. Eee. Um, it's insane. I, it's just funny how things change over time and stuff. And, uh, yeah. It's just something special. <laughs> so, you know, the kids are out of school, so then they gotta let the parents off. So, like, stores are closing. And I guess our area is expected to have, like, bajillion people to send they're sending out public warnings to like get your grocery shopping done early and um any any errands with any at any stores because the air where our area is just our our big town not town but town is going to be inundated with tourists and stuff because of where we are from the viewing you know for the perfect totality viewing and um yeah, they, they're like, hey, you know, if you live here, you better get your stuff done now because we're going to be overwhelmed and bum rushed by tourists and whatnot and um, safety concerns, not just, sorry, I was getting rid of the trash, not just viewing safety, but like criminal safety, <laughs> safety concerns and you know, all kinds of stuff like that. They were telling people to to stock up on groceries and, and all this stuff because I guess I don't I don't know it's insane no clue what why it's that big of a deal but anyway here we go we have and we have enough room for another project should we choose to but um spoiler I don't choose to at least not right now this is a lot of empty space 
did I get all the containers? I guess I did. All right. Well, here, here's our kit. We've, we're kitted that part up. And now all we have left to do is prep the canvas. And how do we do that? We do that with some masking tape on the border because why? I like to. And also it helps me keep the border clean. Uh, if there's any glue over the edge of the border, I uh, don't stick my hand in it and get it mucky and whatever. Um, and you know, like I said, cause I want to, okay. I have to look at this thing for a while. So, um, I, I'm going to make it look pretty or I mean, it's already pretty, but I'm gonna make it look pretty er. All right. So I have picked red to bring out the red and the dragon. And uh, there is a pure red on the color list. So um, I think we should be okay with this. It was between red and green. I guess I could have done blue too, but it was between red and green and I picked red. And that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So here he is again. We've had him a little hidden, but now he has again been revealed. I'm assuming it's a him. It could be a her. It. I can't see the junk to know, but um, I like this. <laughs> I've been looking for uh, an excuse to do this one, so yay! I now have it. This looks like double sided. This is double sided adhesive. I see the square, like right here. I, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure it is. Interesting, because usually it comes with opaque cover, but not this one. Okay. Well, it's a good thing we're taping this then, because the the glue goes a good half inch below the, the border of the canvas. So um, that's a mess waiting to happen. That's a mucky, gunky, uh, lint catching mess that would have ninja surprised, uh, surprised us in the beginning. So now that is why I tape this up like I do. Part of the reason. And the other part is because uh, I want to look at it, you know, and I want to not see the extra stuff. And I, although I have heard you can take alcohol, like the rubbing alcohol, and on a Q-tip and rub that stuff off. Or on a, on a cloth if you're real careful and rub off the ink and markings. Uh, that's how I could get rid of, like, my inventory writing up here in the corner. But I'm too lazy, and I don't have the patience, especially not at 1.18 in the morning, which is a surprise what time it is. So uh, this is the quickest, easiest for lazy mushies. And, um, yeah, lazy, lazy is the way to go in my world when it is in the obscenely early morning hours when no reasonable 40 something year old woman should or would be up uh, under normal circumstances but I don't know when to stop working so um, I'm always up at this hour <laughs> because I I don't know when to stop uh, I'm one of those people that like um, we'll just keep going until all the work is done, but that's kind of the downside is, um, the work is never done. So like I never stop. I have to generally be guilted, forced, threatened <laughs> into stopping. Um, it's just the way I am. Um, my brain will not settle if I know that I have a started but unfinished project or, uh, endeavor. Um, I can't just stop in the middle of something and, um, I have to have like a definitive stopping point. Like, okay, well, let me finish this color. Let me finish this section. Uh, get really mentally irritated and obsessed thinking about like, oh, I left, I left, you know, walked away when I still had three, I only had three more peas left to to place down three more you know antique yellows <laughs> and then I'll plague my thoughts until I complete I really did a a pee pee poor job of this <laughs> a, a as they you know say with the accents pish pish poor job 
So let me, you know, shut my trap and focus. I'm not going to do that. There you go. There you go, Mushy. Just had to stop blathering about. Yep. You're going in your mouth. What do you guys think of this red border? I know it's a little questionable now because it seems pretty bright, but I think once we get the drills on here, it'll be all right. And you know what? You know, it's very e is easy to remove, maybe even easier to remove as it was to put on. So, you know, there's that. If I don't like it, I can always change it, add to it, remove it, whatever. This is my diamond painting. I can do what I want to it within reason, right? Nope. So, I'm not too worried about about it. Nothing is nothing is in stone until like I guess even after you seal it, it's not really in stone. I'm sure that like the sealant's not like concrete or mortar or something. You can like totally probably still make changes after that. You know, but yeah, there we go. And you guys, voila, we are done. Here is our dragon. I need a name for this dragon. Somebody, um, I don't know, Ruby sticks out to me or Garnet maybe. But uh, if somebody has a more creative name for this dragon, I'm open to suggestions. Leave me a comment or hit me up on Facebook and tell me what you think the name of this dragon should be. Um, something clever, maybe? Because uh, Ruby and Garnet, pretty, pretty obvious choices, right? <laughs> Super not creative. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, that's it for the kit up. All that's left now is a big mess for me to clean up. And that's for me, not you. I'm not going to make you stick around for that. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and spending your time with me. Um, can't wait to see what you guys are doing for wings and things. If you're participating for more information, um, please go over to Eileen's uh, Facebook. Well, you, could, you could do that too. Uh, YouTube channel <laughs> over at um, Crafts by Eileen here on YouTube and get all the relevant information that I probably all screwed up. The only thing I know for sure is wings and things. Uh, everything else is, I would double check my work. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thanks again for hanging out with me and I will see you in the next one. Stay naughty.